to contemplate the wonder of your body. It's the most complicated piece of engineering known to us and it throws up some very puzzling questions like why do I catch colds? Where does wind come from? And what will we look like in a thousand years? For the answers, stick with me as we uncover the things you need to know about the human body. OK, let's start at the beginning. Daddy, where did I come from? So your dad told you that he and your mum loved each other and decided to have a baby. Actually, it was a lot more complicated than that. If your father was an average guy, about 280 million of his sperm entered the race to fertilise your mother's egg. Sperm have the most amazing journey to make to get to that egg and fertilise it. When sperm are originally fired out, they, they come in a, a batch of semen and they're at the front of that batch of semen. But then they've still got a very long way to go compared to how long they are. The minute the sperm reaches inside the woman, the key thing it needs to be able to do is swim. Swim for its life. It's got such a battle to get up towards the egg. The way they swim is because they manage to shake their tail. So somewhat like a dolphin shakes its tail, except they have a very long so spaghetti-like tail that oscillates back and forth. They were blasted in at an impressive 28 miles an hour. But almost instantly, 210 million had dropped out. What happened? What we've got here is some very dodgy sperm. Some have three tails. There are two-headed sperm chasing their tails and others with no tails at all. Sperm is different in different animals and there are some really peculiar things that have developed in sperm in different species. One of these things is, say, sperm competition because in humans we generally tend to be somewhat monogamous but in other animals where mates come and go then things change. So for example, insects have very strange things. So some insects have sperm storage areas so this, the sperm from one mate may be kept for a while but then the males have evolved to have devices that will try and tear out that sperm when they inseminate the female. So there's actually competition between the sperm of two different males going on. The remaining healthy sperm find themselves in your mother's cervix, a sticky maze. This mucus protects her uterus from germs, but it's also a hostile environment for sperm. Most will never get through. The 100,000 that did then had to race across the uterus, an exhausting marathon. 